Hi there team, Andrew Crude here. I uh, just wanted to uh, give give some people a hand with uh, editing the follow-up emails for the protection through gold sales funnel. Uh, there's a bit of been a change in the last uh, probably six to eight months with uh, Aweber. Uh, previously it was quite a uh, simple uh, what you see is what you get type uh, editor within Aweber, but they've now moved into a bit more of a complex uh, a tool that requires uh, paragraphs and images to be in different sections. So I'll go through that in a minute, but we'll get from start from the very beginning. Uh, so as you can see, I've uh, got our my follow-up series loaded. Uh, I've called it uh, a backup. So what I'll do is as more emails get loaded or created by Lawrence, Albie and Scott and the team. If they get up, if the campaign gets uploaded or upgraded, um, then I can just upload it into this backup uh, list uh, and then copy them over into the main one so that uh, they don't uh, replace my existing uh, messages as obviously Lawrence's details will be in there and we want to edit it before they go into our actual live list. So I'm going to start with the very first one. I haven't actually done any of these yet so we want to make sure that uh, um, these get edited before we start sending them out to prospects uh, with our own links and name and details. Uh, the 100% open that was one I just did to test the sales funnel with my own email address so that's why that's been recorded there. Okay so to get started we start with number one just click on edit and that will load up the message. Okay. Of that give us some more room okay so this is the editor you've probably seen this before so I'm not going to go into the whole lot of details now obviously along the top here you've got different um, areas that you can pop into the uh, message so what I want to main thing I want to do is I've already changed the snippets so as far as the uh, URLs has my link and down the bottom you can obviously see I've changed the global snippet to have my name at the end there but what I want to do is just to personalize this a little bit more is to pop a picture here under my name. So that's what I want to show and I've heard that in the Skype room a lot of people have had some challenges with this and this will apply uh, to any time you edit a, a follow-up message or even just creating your own. Uh, this is how you would do this. So as you can see if you look at this blue box when I've got the mouse within the area it's uh, kind of blue and as you can see it's just one big um, paragraph. So if you click on this you can see that it's a paragraph uh, section. So what we want to do is scroll down the bottom and as you can see the different sections stay there. First thing I'm going to do is I want to no one to put an image in so I'm going to just drag, click and drag. That's all you need to do. Drop it down there. But what we do need to do is because this sections we actually need to put this text, the PS text and the spacing under it we need to put that under the image so we need to drag another paragraph box don't put it above the image let it drop below the image okay see and there it comes with some uh, default text so don't worry about that so what we want to do first of all is um, bring this text so just double click in there you can see where the uh, thing so if you type it'll pop it in there um, so what we want to do is click just before the PS and you can either you know use shift and arrow or just hold your left mouse button down, click and drag. Control C for copy, you can right click as well depending on what your preference is. Now double click down in this uh, lower paragraph box, let it all highlight and then you can just control V and that will paste over it. Uh, you can delete it and paste it, whatever your preference is again. Okay, so the other option you have up here obviously is to just control X to cut, um, but whatever your preference is. Okay, so what I'm doing is just removing the spacing back up so that the paragraph actually ends right there at the end after my name. So you can see that. Now, where a lot of people uh, get a little stuck with uh, the images here, and this is something I've addressed with Aweber before, and it's a bit of a tricky one, is when you pop in an image, if you justify it to the left, 
um, and the image doesn't go across the whole screen. The uh, excuse me, I just need some water. Ah, thank you. Okay, so the um, text in the paragraph below will actually default up the right hand side of the image, which is a little annoying because you don't want it, you want it to sit underneath it, even if it's left justified. So, but we'll show that in a minute. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop an image in here. I've got some uh, images, um, the URL saved uh, on a different um, Word document that I use for these images. So what I'm going to do is uh, just copy one. I'll get one of uh, Kelly and I with our dog Sydney. Um, just in the image URL, you paste that. The other option you have is to upload a file. You can upload a file directly. Now, the image I've got is a pretty high resolution image, so it's actually quite large. So what you do is you scroll down to the bottom right corner and you can see over here how it's got an arrow. You just click on that with your left mouse button and kind of just drag it back up. Now when you upload images to um, your website or to Photobucket, um, Albie's done a video on that before I know, uh, you can actually set the size so they're a bit more accurate, but for me it's it's not that big a deal, so I just I just adjust it as I need to within Aweber. Okay, so I've almost got it there, so that's that's all done now. And you can see there on the left it's got the width and the height, so you can adjust it as you want it. Okay, so for example, okay, so that's now center justified here, but if I go left justified, it doesn't make a real big difference, the text is still here showing. Okay, does that make sense? Okay, now if I was to, I wanted to make that a smaller image or say it wasn't as wide, the issue, the challenge could be that it could end up like that. Okay, so see how the PS ends up on the right hand side there? What you need to do is, and how that's actually going to look, if you go up to the top and you click on test, what that will do is it'll click on it again, will go eventually. Now it's making a liar out of me. Come on. Oh, it's just not working. Oh, isn't that annoying? <laughs> okay, so anyway, let me save it first, see if we can save it. And then we'll test it again. No, it's just not wanting to play today. Okay, so that would that is how it would show in your message. Okay, so what we need, what you can do is to stop that is get your cursor there, and you can actually return down so it's right there. Now it's not the uh, prettiest thing in terms of having to do a little bit extra work, but that's that will make it work if your image is a little smaller. Now if you want your image to actually be all the way across, it will force it all the way down. But what you do need to do is make sure that you uh, don't uh, um, have any spaces here, because what that's going to do is actually push it all the way down below that image, potentially. So I want to make sure that works. Okay. And that test still isn't working for some reason. Okay, now uh, that's that's really about it. So depending on the image size you want, obviously depends on uh, what you may need to do there, but that will work. Okay, so then you can go through obviously edit any other uh, things in here. Uh, basically, these messages have been put together. It's what Albie and Lawrence are sending out, but you need to personalize it to yourself. So if this isn't how you speak, um, the whole thing is around relationships. If uh, you're not re uh, going to communicate in this way personally with your team, then maybe you need to tweak the wording a little bit, uh, put in something about yourself, uh, feel free to modify them as they are. Um, but this is a proven system, so obviously, yeah, you can use it as is, and it is a proven system, and it's what Lawrence and Albie are using, and Scott. Uh, so don't be afraid to go as is, but make sure you check every link. Make sure you're checking that uh, all the details in there are not going to send someone off to um, someone else's uh, sign-up page. That's the last thing you want after you've already put in the hard work. Okay, so next thing you do, obviously, is just next. Uh, 
make sure that it's um, click tracking is done and that should be it save and exit so if we come back to the main page with all the lists it's there so if we were to go back in and edit again it says message save there it'll uh, load up that and now the uh, image should be sitting there ready to go okay so that's all set okay guys well hopefully that helped uh, if you have any questions um, have a chat to your sponsor uh, if uh, they've uh, not had experience with Aweber um, more than welcome to give me a, um, a yell out in the Skype room or shoot me an email of uh, or message me here on YouTube in YouTube okay guys have a great day hope this helped you and uh, look forward to uh, everyone's success okay bye